But taking over this new role, it, it means, you know, inspiring hope back into the body of our community, moving our community beyond the challenges that we currently face. By next week, Sheldon Neely will take over Flint's top spot as the new mayor. Today he said his final goodbyes and a farewell speech as he leaves his post as state representative. He says work in Flint will start right away. We will have a moratorium on water shutoffs. We will do an operational audit. We will do a financial audit. Neely beat out the current mayor, Karen Weaver, in a small margin, gaining over 50% of the vote. The Flint mayor is responsible for appointing a new chief and other city leaders like members of the economic development team. So the question remains, who will be sticking around? Some will, some won't. Uh, we will be uh, hiring uh, some people new. Uh, some people will remain in the positions that they currently have. Uh, we, won't, we won't have a total elimination of all those individuals. It's about a skill set. Neely says he wants to unify the city, even by working with Weaver, and he's hoping to make Flint a better place to live. I know it's going to be a task that everybody has to come to the table and bring their talents, and we have to do it as a team because no one individual can do it by themselves. Neely is set to be sworn in as mayor on Monday, November 11th at noon. In Flint, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.